Right, so this is the fourth video in the series on linear equations. Um, and in this particular video, we're going to start introducing fractions. The key principles of solving equations will still remain the same, in that whatever we do to the right-hand side of the equation, we have to do to the left-hand side of the equation. Uh, and we need to make sure that always everything balances around the equals sign. So we'll have an example, have a go at an example, and it would be something like, um, let's say it would be 29 minus x divided by 4 equals x plus 5. Okay, so with this particular equation, we've got a little bit of a difficult one because we've got to divide by 4 on the left-hand side. Um, also, we have two values of x. We have a value of x there and a value of x there. Now, both values of x are the same uh, because they're balanced around this equal sign, but the question will want us to solve and work out the value of x. So the way I'm going to do that, firstly, is I'm going to get rid of this uh, over 4, this divide by 4. And the way I do that is I'm going to multiply by 4 and that will cancel it out. But like all good algebras, you need to make sure that whatever you do to the left hand side, you have to do to the right hand side. So what I need to do is I multiply this term by 4. Okay, the way that works is, is that Everything balances around the equal sign, so I'm going to put an equal sign on this side, and I'm going to multiply this equation by 4. So, just to make myself a note, I'm going to put times 4. Okay, so on this side, if I multiply this equation by 4, I'm in a situation where I could write it as 4, 29 minus x divided by 4. Okay. On this side, I'm going to multiply by 4, so it will be 4x plus 5. What I wanted to do was to get rid of this division by 4. So in order to do that, I've multiplied by 4, which will allow me then to cancel these two 4s out. So I'm left with 29 minus x equals 4 x plus 5. So on this side of the equation, I've managed to get rid of this divide by 4. On this side of the equation now, I've got brackets I've got to deal with. So what I'm going to do is get rid of those by multiplying out the brackets. So the first thing I do is I multiply the first term by 4 and then the second term by 4. So on this side it remains the same. I get 29 minus x equals again along the centre of the page if you can. 4 times x is 4x. Positive 5 times 4 is positive 20. OK, so ideally I need to be in a position where I've got x's on one side and numbers on the other. Now it doesn't really matter which way around I do it, but I can either add x to this side and add x to this side, so I get 5x on that side, or I can take 4x away from this side and 4x away from this side, and I'm going to get minus 5x on this side. Um, it's probably easier not to deal with negative numbers if you can avoid them, so what I'm going to do is to get rid of this by adding x to both sides. And that just make it perhaps a little bit easier in the calculation. So I'm going to tell the examiner what I'm doing by writing plus x both sides. And then I'm going to complete the calculation. So I've got 29 minus x plus x is 29 on its own. Because minus x plus x is 0, it cancels itself out, equals 4x plus x is 5x plus 20. Okay, now like before, I want to make sure that I have x's on one side and numbers on the other, so I'm going to minus 20 from both sides. So if I'm minus 20 here and minus 20 here, I get 5x on this side, because positive 20 minus 20 is, is 0. 
and on this side I get 29 minus 20 which is 9 on its own. I've now got 5x in order to find a value of x of 1x I need to divide both sides of the equation by 5 so if I divide this side by 5 and divide this side by 5 I've got x on this side and on this side I've got 9 divided by 5 or if you prefer x equals 1 and 4 fifths or if you prefer it would be 1.8 as a decimal um, it doesn't matter usually if the question is being given to you as a fraction then you can answer as a fraction but if you want to calculate it as a decimal to make your solving a little bit easier that's perfectly fine as well what we would do then is using that value of x equals 1.8 or x equals 1 and 4 fifths feed this back into this equation and make sure both sides balance um, I hope that's okay uh, the key areas that you need to remember is always to balance things around the equal sign along the paper and always to tell the examiner what steps you're taking as you're working through and solving the problem and also it means that you can check each time that you're doing the correct thing so if you make a calculation error you can go back through the stages um, that's it that's for linear expressions I think it's the fourth video um, using fractions <laughs>